flipped it around, and it went <laughs> boom. So I got past it, so the frisbee's gonna get me and knock me down. So I passed these, and then, and then took off. All right, do you have anything to say here, you gals? Right now. <laughs> Any yeah. comments on the, the finding the lost mine that is completely lost? Um, I'm still curious. It's too bad the river's so high. Hey, Howdy, folks. In the tradition of lost mines, this one will continue to be lost because we can't drive through it. And Scott, with bravery, tried to forge this river, but he is not Moses. <laughs> and the almond away, and so we can't cross it. And probably on videotape, it's nowhere near as bad as it is in real life because it's pretty strong. So, the gold of whatever mine this could have been will just stay hidden, remain hidden until another day or when this goes down a bit. So. What is he doing? Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was. <laughs> Ah, you had us all scared. I <laughs> thought about it. Yeah. Here we are. Truly a lost mine. We were driving by. Had no clue. Now look. We're totally unprepared. No flashlight. Hi, <laughs> Scott. Was paid. Oh, Jeez. sorry. Oh, you're fine. We just happened upon this thing here. Driving on the road down there. Yeah. Um, we have no clue what it is, but we can go inside. John, he won't be aware of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it around and make faces into the camera. Okay. <laughs> Let's pretend like we're not being watched. Like if we don't even know the camera's on us. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's got a little hole right here. Really? But this one of mine right now. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Okay, Alright. Oh, it's stink. We all do. I hope we see a bat or a rat. Yeah. Don't day. talk too loud, by the way. Uh -huh. Sorry, I won't do that. <laughs> I'm singing by my husband. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it really stinks in here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's a skunk in here. It's no, not a skunk. Tell, it's like... Sorry, I got <laughs> Definitely not a skunk smell, Levy. Oh, you should know. Yeah, it's true. There's a bone. Right yeah, there. Where Pop the flashlight it. is. Whoa. Let me see. Right there. It's not a bone. <laughs> what? What? You're kidding. There's really a bone no. back here. There's a foot of a deer. There's the other Something dragged a deer in here? That's a lovely thought. Hey, somebody stole my flashlight. <laughs> Yeah, there's something's been uh, enjoying life in here. What? Something's been enjoying. This is wrong. Isn't that weird though? It's not so. I mean, no, there's the legs. Of the something deer. was back. That's the the big fear people have is it's trapping something. Uh-huh. What is that? A bunch of nests. That's what I forgot was just there. There's a bunch back here too. Yeah. The worst is when you, the, my worst thing is you come in and you go over and there's a rat right above you. Uh, you almost afraid it's going to jump on me. Yeah, but yeah, sit at that. Oh, let's go. All right. Here's the stage, Josh. Huh? We'll, we'll get a little documentary. Here you can see that. You can see some bones right here. And there's dung right here. And some dung. So this is the bathroom for some foreign animals right here you have a bone it looked like either an animal or some crazy man gnawed this thing to death <laughs> there's his uh reese's pieces packet Reese, see he had a dessert it's a man it's a crazy guy there's it kind of comes to an end everywhere. right there so that's kind of huh no rats though no whoa huh. look at that 
Look at that, you can see the vein. Look at that. Oh, that they were mining? Yeah. Oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, you can see the vein right there perfectly. I don't know how they got up there though. Maybe just they put the little little man up there to to mine. A wee leprechaun. Right see the vein? Ways, yeah. yeah, you can see the vein right there. Then what they yep. would do is they would strike you know a vein. That's, that's probably gold. Yeah. So they would strike a vein and then follow the vein along, and that's what determined a lot of the mine. See some of the vein here? And that's why mines just go kind of every every which direction because they strike the vein. You can see the glitter up kind there. And the vanity they had. And then here is um snot. This has a runny <laughs> nose. Bless you. <laughs> Actually back here there's more uh something. I don't know. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Mine number two, moose droppings. Now, the main fear here, I'm always scared to be a uh, badger's gonna grab my. <laughs> 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 oh, it got me! <laughs> Just kidding. Nothing got me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going here in the mine. Soon to be followed. Looks like it's, you can stand up pretty quickly. Yeah, you can stand up when you get in here. Whoa! Whoa, Josh! Ah! This is awesome! Does it stink? <laughs> Smile! Oh, Josh, have a few words stuff. about this? There's a bunch of shiny stuff in here. I don't know what it is. Oh, sorry. Here we are entering the cave. This is all of us in. See all the shiny stuff? Some kind of mineral. Um, there's a bunch of green rock too. You know oh. what? I think the shiny stuff is just water. <laughs> water is valuable if you're thirsty. I don't know what it is. There's lots of green rock in here too. Which is interesting. Stalactites. Oh yeah. Where you have like minerals growing up and they keep piling up. Oh, right. the minerals it looks like down. guinea pig poop. It's probably rat dropping. Yeah, probably is. Hey, spiders. Hey, boy. Something metal. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a bum. Is it? Josh has an eye for finding things, I'll tell you. Yeah, there was another same bone that's back there. Some kind of shoulder bone. Yeah. Clavicle? There's, um. No tools or anything, though. Oh, I get. You know what? We could start our own industry museum. Oh, build my deer. gosh. I like that. <laughs> It almost looks like human teeth. I know, that's what I thought too. You know what, there was a crazy man up here that used to um, kill people who didn't do good in history class. Utah history class. Doesn't and I bet this is where it was. Almost. There's the end of the cave down there. Oh, pants, you can't see. Okay, here you are. Oh, I'm so scared. We should leave him here. Here we have a... Oh, sorry. pants, I can't... Be... Okay, I'm going to come back here. Okay, oh, don't get scared, little man. I can't film and do both. Well. Oh, there's a little rat there feeding its young, which is in his cave, so we're going to leave him alone. You can see a little critter. How cute. Can you see his babies? No, no, I don't see him. Oh, ooh. Ah. Smack <laughs> the get you. by the roots. What was that, Scott? <laughs> oh, I wonder if it can get him. Not a lot of light. Can you shine light up there, Nan? Lovely root system. I wonder if the trees are ticklish. What do you see, Scotty? Oh, my mess. Oh. So Scott and Ananda have ventured back. Hey, did you guys try turning your lights off? Into the cave. I can't even see where they went. But Way back. 
whole class. Writing there on the back. But I'll tell you a caving story that happened in a mine. I was, um, that mine we were going to, the one up, above, the one we were going to go to, the, I had to take the ropes down. Um, me and my friend decided to go in there. It was our third attempt. And the last attempt we vowed we would not go in anymore. We, we said no more because it was too dangerous. And you can kind of understand, you know, with things like this, ten times worse than this. You had to repel mm -hmm. down a few times. and a little cave in there. Yeah. And you were, cl you were climbing through things that caved in. And it was always spooky. So we said, this is our last time. We'll not go in again. So, you know, spit on our hands and shake. And, and we go in. And we, what, we, what we planned for an hour time in the trip, when the cave we were in the six hours. Because everything went bad. We, uh, um, it was so bad. We had part of it cave in on us. And we had to dig our way out part of it. And if that is not scary, I don't know what is. <laughs> it scared me to death. And we were in there six hours. Our lights were dying on us. We still had a bunch of the cave. We never understood where it went. And we thought we were lost in it forever. But we made it out and climbed out just in time. But I'll tell you, I've never been so happy to see daylight. <laughs> that was the best. I, ever since then, I've loved life. <laughs> it was spooky. Oh, interesting place. You have to wonder what it is that makes people... Mining just a fool. Oh, hey, look, look, look. Josh. See this? This was in here. Oh, that's where somebody... And this would held their torches. See? Yep. And you see, like, a few of these, as you go along, there'll be holes in them. And this is where they would hold the torches. Some of the other the ones torches. that we we're going to go into today has the tracks, and there's still the torch. They're still up. And so you can actually hang a torch up still. If you... And they have air compressors, because if you go back far enough, you need to get air in there. And so you'd have air compressors and hoses going all through the mine just so they could breathe when they went way back there. Which is when they're small enough, they would carry it out on their own. And the good sign of when you go into a mine, the way you can tell if it's if it was a big mine is there would be tracks in there because it was mm -hmm. big enough to that they were willing to put them in. And a lot of times the big ones are caved in. It kind of gives you an idea of how big it was. Is uh, what is called the trailings from a, a mine. You can see how they've taken all the dirt, you know, as to like this, dug out all the dirt and dumped it lower on the hill. It flattens off right above the mouth of the cave right there. Which is masses behind those trees. So if you see one of those, there's actually another one right over there. Can't see very well. And then we think there's another one down there, but we're not sure. So we're gonna check it out. There are two moose. Whoa. I lost him. You see him? Yep. One of them's really light. So there's some moose. Opening now. You can see where this is caved in? Quite substantially. It probably was at one time an opening like this, but it was all rough. And you can see the, you know, the lines from where it would have potentially kept going. It goes down in their ways. You can see this has more trellings than most. And that's how, we'll see if we can. All right, here's a side angle. Oh, the, oh hold on. Okay, you got me? Yep. Yeah, here we are inside the mine. And Josh and, ha, they're holding my feet, so I don't fall in. Here, you see where it's caved in? Probably a few animals coming here. There's some smaller holes down there where you can uh, tell animals have gone in. Anyway, not very interesting, is it? The Scott's forehead. And behind that, you'll see the trailings from the first cave that we went into. And then over there, you can see the trailings from the larger cave that's really closed in, really caved in. And then just beyond that, I don't know how well you can see it, there's actually a third cave, which is very small. And also not easy to get into. So, but three mines right in a row. Pretty interesting. <laughs> Of 
flares its neck. We are now at the end of the line. We're enjoying Taggart's very high society kind of place. <laughs> As you can see by the other customers. <laughs> <laughs> That's Josh's beautiful wife. <laughs> Oh, he didn't get me on it, did he? <laughs> there you go. I'm not doing him again. <laughs> and here we have Taggart's. We're doing the panoramic view. So our green batter mushrooms are on See, these way. pictures are so freaky. Look at that. <laughs> Who does that? So this is the infamous Taggart's. <laughs> oh wait, it's not a camera, is it? Wow. <laughs> what, what did you do? It's just going to us all in. Oh. Um, is it going? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> here we are. Good thing I didn't pick my nose just a second. We're at Taggart's here, and we're going to shut off so we get some good food. I came in was fun today. We're alive. We made it and Cheers! School! And after a lot of things bad happened. <laughs> we almost lost three clutches today. Yes. The, tr the motorcycle died. Truck went out. Motorbike's dead. I don't know why. We found the, the, the four wheeler. <laughs> yeah. Four wheeler. Four wheeler. Four wheeler. Four wheeler. And uh, <laughs> this, then we're heading back for cash <laughs> back to Morgan and we're leaving here. So. The, there's no telephone check. Don't believe them. Eight times a day. You know, we are past Morgan. They still use a Pony Express. <laughs> They do. Bye-bye.